Duran's a shot, misses, now a chance, McCray the shot, open, Hellier, he scores! Right place, off the net! Yeah, I think when I was younger, obviously, you know, playing for the minor hockey team, you get the card and you come to a lot of games with teams and you get to see the dressing room every now and then. And I think growing up, it was it was a big part to, to see kind of what it takes to, to play for such a good team. And, you know, at young age, you don't know how good they really are. And then, you know, when I got into Bantam, made it, you know, you realize how how elite this program is. But we've always had our eyes on him and stuff like that with obviously, you know, with Barrett coaching him and Brad Cobb knowing him and, and Brody knowing him and him being part of kind of our program that we've done in the communication and stuff. Um, we've always known that, you know, he was one of those guys that uh, with a, that local kind of player and stuff that we wanted him to be part of this this organization and this team. A lot of guys, they, they want to move. For me, it was, you know, I think playing in hometown is an unbelievable opportunity and um, you know, the elite, the program is elite here. Um, you know, it's top team in the AJ. Obviously, we're struggling a bit this year, but, you know, in the past, Dice has been able to develop guys. You know, he's, like I said, he's, he's turned this program into a great, uh, great program. And, um, you know, it really intrigued me what they were doing and where the future is with this program. And, you know, I think with a coach like Dice, um, you know, I think he's going to help me get to the next level and that's where I want to be. Not everyone wants to. Uh, that's locally wants to play and you know they want to move away and stuff like that and with Connor just you know him wanting to play for this team and us wanting him to be part of this organization I just think it's huge for the community. Yeah I knew coming in I just wanted to play my game um, you know I'm, I'm a smart smart and hard-working player so I think you know I just wanted to stick to my game not try to do too much not try to do to undershoot myself so you know I just stuck to my game and you know I had some early success there. You know with his game sense and how he makes other people better and, and, and moves and distributes the puck and stuff we knew that he you know he would have an impact right away with with our team especially with you know so many new openings on our team and stuff like that we knew that uh, he could come in and be an impact player when i received the first phone call from them you know i was extremely excited right off the bat um, you know we ended up going down me and my both my parents came with me um, and and right away we were all we were all really impressed by the school by the academics by what coach powers had to say so um, you know as soon as he got down there it's a pretty easy decision to commit there it's always cool to be part of a, a pioneering group and, and you know with a young program like ASU and stuff like that and, and, and being in there in that grassroots kind of area and stuff I think it's huge for him and I think it's one of those things that he's excited about and, and why he chose to go to that school. We have guys come in after the game and, and we get to meet some some young kids and you know I remember doing that with my team as well so um, you know it's obviously good to be a good role model for them and uh, you know, it certainly gives, brings back some good memories from, from my early days. If he can start pushing the pace of the game a little bit more and stuff like that and, 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 and just kind of going and moving his feet a little bit more and stuff like that, I think the sky's the limit for him.